Then there's Barack Obama. As you said, he was agonizing yesterday. Oh, my gosh. He's on the campaign trail. Um, although he said blacks, you know, the brothers, are not excited about Kamala. ...is that um, we have not yet seen the same kinds of energy and turnout in all quarters of our neighborhoods and communities as we saw when I was running. Court. Now, now, I also want to say that that yeah. seems to be more pronounced with the brothers. With the brothers. <laughs> so he's admitting, yeah, uh, uh, black men are not excited about Kamala Harris. Isn't that what he just said yep. there? That's interesting. Wait, are you campaigning for her or? <laughs> He's campaigning. That's what I said. That clip that I, we're going to play here in a little bit. It's just about him. Does it diminish him a little bit if another black person is elected? Maybe. Is that the problem? Maybe. Maybe he doesn't want that. I don't know. Maybe he and, and, likes being the only black to ever hold that office. Well, and the, remember the reports were that he didn't want Kamala. Yeah, he, that's right. That's true. They wanted Joe gone, but they didn't want Kamala. Right. They didn't want him. I don't know who he did want. If it was uh, Newsom. I think it was Kelly, right? Oh, it was Mark Kelly. Mm. I think he was Maybe. the front runner for that. Yeah. Well, that, that was the report. I don't know whether, mm. whether that, obviously, we don't know whether it's true or not. But we do know that he did not want Kamala. Or right. Kamala or whatever the hell her name is. Right. Uh, he also said this election is going to be tight because people are still struggling. Interesting comment as well. Uh, We've already heard tonight. No, this is yeah, this is him on the stage. Ugh. This election's going to be tight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because there are a lot of Americans <laughs> who are still struggling out there. Oh, they're still striving to make why is that life better for themselves, mm-hmm. for their families, and for their kids. Uh huh. Right. And, and let's face it, as a country, we've been through a lot these last few years. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We had a historic well, yeah. pandemic. Right. Wreaking havoc mm. on communities and businesses. Okay. And? Disruptions from the pandemic then caused prices to spike. No. Uh, no, and that's that not what happened. A strain on family budgets. No. That's not what happened. And in many ways, it's felt like the aspirations of working people have taken a back seat to the priorities of the rich and the powerful. Yeah, right. like you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So I get it. Do you? Why people are looking to shake things <sighs> To shake things up? Shake things up. Yeah. Shake mm-hmm. things. Okay. Okay, so then you have mm. to hear the uh, where he takes credit for the economy. I mean, if you had to do a commercial, do the commercial, but this clip mm-hmm. of him taking credit uh, for taking credit that he had to fix Bush Mm-hmm. Fixed Bush, and he's taking and he's saying that now he's uh, the, taking credit the Trump, for the last four years. The Trump good years, the Trump good years were because of him. Okay, all right. I don't know how that works <laughs> for Kamala, yeah. but it's, I don't either, frankly. 